Hi, my name is Ellie Rodriguez. I am 24 years old. I have had vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery and I have lost 200 pounds. I have been through many trials and tribulations in my 24 years. Uh, where should I begin? Um, I had been overweight my entire life um, as a child through my teens and uh, in my early 20s is when I gained the most. Um, at 15, I lost my first high school boyfriend in a tornado that hit the south here in Ringgold, Georgia. Um, he died protecting his little brother in a trailer. Um, and the tornado hit and killed him and his four of his family members. But his brother did survive. Um, a year after that, I had a mini stroke on the left side of my brain. Uh, I couldn't walk or talk for about six to eight hours. I was in the hospital for a week. They didn't know what caused it. They didn't know if it was just, you know, part of it was being overweight. Um, and then they finally, after doing extensive research, found out I have a gene mutation. It's called MTHFR. And it's actually a blood, clot blood clotting condition. And um, so it's actually pretty scary. Um, I have anxiety about it because I can't have a clot at any time. I just take a baby aspirin to prevent it. Um, so, you know, worrying about that developed onset of depression and anxiety at 16. Um, me and my father and I, we had a very rocky relationship pretty much all of my life. Um, he actually overdosed and passed away in June of 2015. And when that happened, something in me snapped and I gained about a hundred pounds going up to 350, the highest I had ever weighed my entire life. I weighed about 300 pounds when my husband and I got married in 2014. Um, but I spiked up and got up to 350 and I had fatty liver, PCOS, prediabetes, you name it, I had it um, and I was dying. I physically felt okay, like I felt good about myself. I loved doing my hair, my makeup, doing my nails. I was a pretty big girl. You know, I was happy, I had some friends to go out with shop with even though they got to shop in the regular section i had to shop in plus size like it didn't bother me but i don't know i felt the need to become healthier for my personal being to live so that's when i decided in 2016 january that was my new year's resolution new, new year's resolution was to become the best version of myself that i could be and I came across a girl's Instagram that had had the sleeve. And I was like, what is the sleeve? Like, I had heard of the bypass. And I didn't really want my intestines rerouted. So, I went with the sleeve where they removed 85% of my stomach. And I can eat about 3 to 4 ounces. And starting out was not so bad. Um, before the surgery, I started doing keto, which was... I was eating under 20 carbs a day, no carbs, no like no fatty carbs, no sugars, high protein, lots of cheese, bacon, meats, and I lost 40 pounds before my surgery doing that alone and exercise. I was I was on the treadmill about 30 45 minutes a day doing that and the elliptical. Um, so I lost about 40 pounds before my surgery. And then I continued doing keto after the surgery. And I did that up until I lost 200 pounds. So I went from 350 to about 150. And I started looking a little sick. Um, I'm 5'8", so I am fairly tall. Um, you know, I've got like prominent bone structure. So I just, my bones stick out. Um, I just, I, I didn't look good at 150. So I'm about 160, 165 right now. Um, my mom wants me to get back up to 180. I'm like, no, that's pushing. That's too close to 200 for me. 
<laughs> I've worked too hard to go back. But um, I'm at a healthy weight right now. Um, and now I'm dealing with the mental side of things. Um, things that people don't think about. Um, I was recently diagnosed with bipolar 1 disorder. And it actually cost me my job. Um, you know, even though I was out on short-term disability, a company does not want to take liability on someone that has mental issues. And they think the set, the onset of the bipolar was from my weight loss and the hormones fluctuating. Um, but yeah, I've been dealing with a lot. I've been staying off of social media. Like, I'm getting anxiety right now just talking about it. Um, and, you know, because people think that it, mental health is not a big deal. But really, guys, it's a major part of life. And it's, it's really hard to, once you go through something like that to overcome it and I don't know I'm still at that phase where I don't know how I'm going to overcome it but I know I will it's just going to take a little bit of time and I think I need the me time to focus on what I love I have this beautiful home that me and Jose got together um you know so I need to just take some time to focus on that babies in the future not necessarily the near future but when it happens it'll happen um so, yeah, you know, I'm just trying to find a happy medium right now. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking for me to make a video, so I wanted to go ahead and do that for you guys. Please send me a message and let me know what you'd like for me to talk about. If you want to know what I'm doing as far as diet plans right now, what I'm eating to maintain, please feel free to message me, and I would love to make some more videos now that I have some free time on my hands. So, uh, yeah, shoot me a message. See you guys later.